Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another transfer video. Plenty to get into today. There's been a lot of drama in the last two weeks. Um, Mauricio Pochettino getting sacked. Uh, Enzo Maresca is our new manager. The official announcement from the club was dropped earlier today. Enzo Fernandez, the Olympics, does he want to go? Is he forcing it? Is, does he not care about Chelsea and all those other BS narratives? Um, there's news on Chalaba, potential goalkeeper news as well. Robert Sanchez might have a second chance at Chelsea Football Club. Plenty to get into. Before we start, got to do the housekeeping. As always, hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. As soon as you enter into the video, if you guys haven't done so already, hit, hit the like, comment if you guys haven't done so already. And yeah, even a super thanks helps the channel out. So if you want to do that as well, there is an option for that down in the comment section below. And yeah, enjoy the show. Enjoy the latest transfer update for you guys. First thing I want to talk about is Amari Hutchinson, who is, I think, being put up for sale this summer. The exclusive from Fabrizio is saying that Chelsea will not loan him out this summer. The only way we get rid of him is permanently. Or the only way he leaves Chelsea is permanently, which I didn't really understand, especially with us extending his contract recently. I felt like it made a lot more sense to loan him out to a Premier League team, let him continue on his tra upward trajectory that he's already been um, doing at Ipswich in the Championship. If anything, just leave him at Ipswich for another season because he's clearly going to get plenty of minutes there. And then sell him for potentially double the price. Like, if you get around 25, 30 million, I can't really knock you down for trying to sell him, especially if it means we, we can go and get someone like Elise, for example. But you can keep him for a year and potentially sell him for more. Do I think he'd make it into the Chelsea squad? He could have the quality for that one day, but there's just too many right wingers. We got Palmer, we got Noni, we got Angelo Gabriel, we got Kendry Pires and Estevão Willian coming in next season, and we've also got to think about Amari too. Like it was clear Amari was going to be someone that we develop and we sell for as much as we can. I just think we can get a lot more if we just wait a year. But if we have to do it now, fine. There are clubs circling in. Ipswich are involved. There's other Premier League clubs involved. Ajax is involved. Feyenoord's involved as well. If you can get the right amount of cash, peace. If it means we can get Elise, peace. Even better. That works That works out for us just as well. Um, in terms of the centre-back links, Fabrizio said, Chelsea could still look for one more centre-back after signing Tossin from Fulham earlier this week or last week. But it all depends on Trevor Chalobah, which makes me think that Chalobah might be able to have a say in whether he stays or leaves because it's not the same as Conor Gallagher. Gallagher's got a year left on his contract and he could potentially be looking for a move himself. Chalobah hasn't been, hasn't been talking to other clubs He's only said he wants a team in the Champions League and no Champions League teams have come out for him. He's here for another four years and hasn't made any attempt to try and push for a move. Could make me believe that he could be trying to stay. Now, obviously, if a Champions League team does come in for him, maybe that will change it. He did have Bayern and Inter interest in him last summer, so I get where he's coming from in that regard. But I just hope we don't try to force it with Chalaba because, like... I actually think he's a dependable squad player for us. Same thing with Gallagher, but I just think it's been set in stone with no contract renewal or anything that he's leaving regardless. Um, with Chalaba, though, he gives you a bit of experience. He's actually been around teams that have won trophies, like the two cool sides from a few years ago, even though it feels like a decade ago. Is a very, very dependable player for you. And to be honest, always seems to exceed expectations of him. I would hope we keep him. but. I understand some players need to leave. Maybe it'll be Amari instead, God willing. But hopefully Chalaba has his fate in his hands. Um, moving to the goalkeeper situation, because Fabrizio has also said that Maresca has told the board that he really likes Sanchez and he's looking forward to working with him next season. Which does worry me a little bit, I won't lie, because Sanchez hasn't filled me with any confidence this season. He started off pretty well. But the distribution was always shaky. Forget just the Arsenal game. There were games like Brighton at home in the Cup where he was literally just passing to Brighton players for the entire first half. His long passing is good. 
His short passing is scary. So if you think you can get something out of him, fair enough, but that's another high-risk move. I've seen us linked with the likes of, I think, what's his name? Alvaro Vales from Las Palmas, who's been very impressive in the league this season. I'd rather us go for someone like him. Maybe still go for someone like him and keep Sanchez as the number two. I do feel a bit worried for Petrovic because he's not really great with distribution and we really need someone that can play the ball out of the bat. So I don't know where his pathway for Chelsea is now. But Robert Sanchez looks to have a second chance at Chelsea. I hope he does make the most of it. I'm not very keen on it. But he could prove me wrong. He could prove me wrong and I'll let him do that. I'll let him do that. You always got to let people cook and just see what meals they deliver. That's what I like saying. Um, there's also a little battle for Armando Broya with Wolves, Monaco and Bologna all pushing hard to complete a deal for him. So it looks like we are going to see Broya sold this summer. Monaco and Bologna would offer Champions League football as well, so I could see them two being the front runners. Wolves, there's the potential there. Premier League football and all of that. But we'll see where he goes. Broya is likely to leave this summer anyway. Get us max profit. He already got us four million from Fulham. Blessed for that. And speaking of Fulham, that's a decent segue because we did get linked with Rodrigo Muniz. Apparently, we've made con contact with him at Fulham to evaluate the possibility of buying him. I hope not. Well, I know he's done really well over the last six months of Fulham, but it, it just screams purple patch to me. It really screams purple patch. Maybe he could come to Chelsea and impress, but we're looking at your Oshimens, your Sescos. Those are sort of strikers we're trying to look for, not really Moonies. Although you can make the same argument for Sesco as well. He's just balling out at a bigger side than Fulham. But he's not necessarily proven either. He's just very close to blowing up. And we've been linked with him. He's meant to be the number one target for Chelsea this, this summer, which is another one I'm not really that keen about because he's only been good for a couple months. I see the potential in him. He's an aerial beast. He's six foot five and rapid. He's got great ball striking, but his decision making just isn't great. And he's not really the upgrade on Jackson that you're looking for. If he was to come in and compete as a number two, fine. I won't make too many complaints about that, but it's another one that just doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. So we'll see what striker we go for. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be Oshiman now because sources are saying it's going to cost way too much from a price tag perspective, and then there's agent fees, and then there's his salary, and all other sorts of variables as well. So who knows? There's a lot to see whether it plays out or not over the next few weeks. But big up to everybody that's locked in. It's been yet another transfer video. Big up to everybody. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that crap. Up the Chels. We didn't say potch out this time. Up the Chels. Big up Enzo. Big up, Enzo.